Well, our library is part of a larger system of libraries. It's not a standalone La Mesa institution. And they deal with this same issue in downtown San Diego and lots of other municipalities. I would, I, I'm not a librarian. I don't deal with that. Uh, but I would hope and would empower our librarians to talk to other um, municipalities, other parts of this system, and say, how do we deal with this? Because I think it is an issue for the residents of La Mesa who wish to use the library. We have a, well, this library has the, the highest use per square foot of any library in the county. I don't think it's an appropriate place to be sheltering the homeless. But I don't know what the solution is. I know other libraries deal with it, and I'm hoping that they can have a dialogue to, to address it. Police officers um, responded to 181 um, uh, calls and they, uh, uh, for transients, and they made, uh, they made 181 contacts with the transients. And they were on uh, the three top spots were Allison Avenue and uh, Parkway Drive, as well as Jackson Drive. And so it's a police issue. They, uh, they're called and they, they deal with it. They, uh, they try to work with the transients. Uh, that number has gone down a little bit from the 180, uh, was 184 last year, and now it's 181. But they come and they go. And uh, so, and that's one of the thoughts about the streetscape because there will be bathrooms downtown with the streetscape. So, you know, you, you have to, it's a balancing act. You think about, are we going to have uh, more transients go in there and wash up and so on? Um, so, these are hard times and when we have, when the, the economy is so low where people don't have jobs, uh, we, we see it in the city in all in all ways. I think homelessness is going to be a continuous problem for every city in America. It's not something that's easy to fix. It's not something that I think La Mesa needs to be building a homeless shelter to deal with. I think that directing the people to resources that the county and the city of El Cajon have available is a way to go. I also think that the police need to be informed and the transients need to move. It's a very sad situation with homelessness. Some people are mentally ill and this is where they sleep, in the libraries, behind the building, behind the fire station, right by um, the 125 and Rosema Boulevard. In the, in the ditch for the screen runs under Bancroft Drive. And it's sad and it's terrible. But I don't think that building a homeless shelter is the solution. I do think that police, no loitering signs, are the solution. And maybe politely asking them, come on, you need to move along. I know there's some homeless people that are known by name to the people that are downtown. There's Larry the homeless guy. There's the Walker the homeless guy. And Larry, I haven't seen Larry lately. He's been Oh, good. You know, there's various homeless people. They don't seem to have changed much. And, and you have to address them, talk to them, try to get them to move on. And what I would do if I was working in a library, as long as they weren't combative, I would explain that to them. I mean, it's, it's very sad. And if they're combative, call the police, move them out. I had a conversation with the city manager once about this problem because it's a, it's a question you're asked all the time. How would you solve the homeless problem? And he said, Laura, that's a trick question. It's impossible to solve it. You can only manage it. Um, I go to the library all the time. I love our library. I read probably two novels a night between 2 and 4 a.m. in the morning and reading voraciously. And uh, yeah, there is a, a high homeless population there. And I think that the homeless problem is too small for a city to handle. It really is a county or a state or even a federal problem of which a city might ask a state or a county for resources to help. I do like the idea that if there are facilities, um, lead them that way. Um, I do know that they will build a facility for 200 beds, let's say, and 2,000 people show up. So um, <coughs> it's a very difficult problem. And um, if it is hurting our library, where people, I mean, hundreds of people use our library to study, research, check out books, 
check out videos, and if they are deterring people from using the library, then I do believe, especially if they are uh, <clears throat> combative, uh, or <laughs> if they really smell bad, I think that maybe you do ask them to leave, and if they are resistant to it, you would call them this. There are no homeless services in the Mesa's. And I don't really think that just kicking them down the road and trying to push them off down on El Cajon or down on San Diego is really a compassionate, responsible thing to do. I mean, we're, we're a city that is well-managed and well-run and has the resources to partner with the county and find a way that we can offer these members of our community that are having a, good, having a hard time, try and find a way to work them out of it, but we need to offer them something here. Um, I think that one of the things the council can do on that is to fight the fact that there's going to be a not in my backyard attitude about it. Any place that comes up, nobody's going to want it there. And we need some people with backbone to say, listen, these people are part of our community. Like it or not, let's work with them. Let's try and make the situation better. Because I, we, we, we have problems that are beyond La Mesa. But until we get rid of inequality in this, in, in this uh, country, we're not going to get rid of this problem. And it doesn't seem like we're working on that very quickly, so let's manage it better than we are now.